Alright, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha. Call hello, La, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, which means all praises to Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, you people ignorantly call God, Bahashim, which is in the name of Yahusha, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are all the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I uh, do want to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing his word throughout the four corners of the earth. Who's also lifting up the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, to the confusion of faces out there whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, our forefathers, same thing to if your seed line goes back to a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, as if you're one of the children of the Most High, okay, you are an Israelite, okay? To the few sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? Who these words going out to? Shalom to you, to your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? You are the uh, Hebrew Israelites, the true Jews of the Bible, and um, the uh, chosen people of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. A special people, like I always say, okay? And, um, I was watching a, a, a certain brother's video, it was GMS Holy Spirit, uh, one of the uh, apostles or elders, if I'm not mistaken, from the GMS Chicago camp, part of the Chicago camp. And um, I wanted basically to do a response. You know, I just waited to get off work from doing it. And, um, basically, you have Terry Crews, who is an Israelite, okay, a wicked and backwards Israelite. He's saying that toxic masculinity is a cult, okay, men need the programming, okay, and this dude is completely. Okay, wrong. And plus, you know, I'm just going to get the scriptures to show you the line. Minimums and fees seem to be the foundation of your tip. So I'm going to read this article. I'm not going to read all of it because it is very uh, long. So it says Terry Crews may be making big movies as the newest host of America's Got Talent, but actor and activist is still committed to steaming the tide of toxic masculinity. Okay. Ahead of a powerful speech at the 2019 Makers Conference on Friday, the 50-year-old former NFL linebacker sat down with Yahoo Lifestyle to talk about what it's like to be one of the most public-facing male survivors in this movement. It feels scary. There's no other way to really describe. Cruz tells Yahoo Lifestyle, who had have a lot of men who are very, very angry. Cruz initially went public on his own me Too story in 2017 and has since remained a public face of the movement, even testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee in June 2018, but says his message that men need to look inward has infuriated some males. It says they're angry at me because I've changed the narrative. Only The only way I could describe it is that there's a movie that everybody's playing in the head and, um, in their head, and the movie doesn't end up the way they want it. He says, they're like, wait a minute, you're supposed to beat up somebody, some beat up everybody, you're supposed to get revenge, and everybody's supposed to ride on that horse. And I'm like, nope. In fact, I'm a survivor, and the truth is sometimes you don't get justice, you get freedom. That's the difference, okay? Survivor is a title that Cruz began identifying with after coming forward with assault allegations on Twitter. This whole Thing with Harvey Weinstein is giving me PTSD. Cruz tweeted on October 10, 2017, five days after the New York Times published an explosive report suggesting that Weinstein paid off his victims. Why Cruz continued? Because this kind of thing happened to me. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. Um, this man, uh, okay, he's um going against the scriptures, man. Okay, he's basically saying that uh. It's toxic uh, to be masculine, okay? And the scriptures, you're supposed to be masculine, okay? It tells you because in this society, what's being pushed is that just like Jeremiah 31 and the 22nd verse says, it says, uh, a man shall compare, a woman shall compass a man, okay? And that's what's happening, okay? You have this whole, um, what's going on, this whole uh, feminist vibration going on here. Basically, you got these these women, okay? Basically, Esau put them, Esau, Edom is the so-called white man. He put them in the power of, uh, position that they're in, okay? 
And basically, he's telling uh saying that uh that's uh that's basically he's basically uh, saying it's okay, man. Okay. It tells you in the scriptures then first and Peter's three and uh seventeen. That uh no three and seven. It's first and Peter's three and seven. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Okay? And that's what the woman is. She's the weaker vessel. Okay? But in the society, that's not the case. You got the woman that's you know, more masculine than a lot of the men. Okay? And that's what he's pushing, basically. He's basically pushing the whole LGBTQ uh, agenda. Okay? That Esau's got uh, going on out here. Okay, that's really what uh he's pushing. Okay, it tells you uh poor manga. Hold on, I'm going to start at Ephesians 5 and 1. Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh as their children, and walk in love as Yahweh shall also have, have loved us, and have given himself for an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling savor. But it says, But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becomes becoming saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know that no 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 whoremonger, no unclean person, no covetous man, or an idolater. Hold on, is this what I want? Hold on, let me type in uh it's not what I want. Yeah, this is what I want. This is first in Corinthians. Let me see. I'm going to start at the seventh verse. Now, therefore, there is early a fault among you because ye go to the law one with another. Why do you rather take wrong? Why do you rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, ye do wrong and defraud that your brethren know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Okay? And the unrighteous right now, you two-thirds of our own people are unrighteous right now. Okay? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor bases of themselves with mankind, man. So let's stop right there and go into that word effeminate, okay? Um, here it is. The word in Strong's G3120, Malakos. And it says, of uncertainty, infinity, soft, fine, figureless, a, a Catermite, effeminate, and soft, man. And that's what this man wants, basically, man. He wants all men, okay, basically to be um soft, man, okay? And two-thirds of our own people, they walk, okay? That's why you see our nation, okay? You see our nation, a lot of the men in our nation, like you you do something, for instance, let's say you step on their shoe, you uh you uh bump into them wrong, they they get mad, man, they wanna fight, man. Because they have a feminine spirit on them. Because why? Because Esau put the woman, okay, the head, as the head of the household, man. Okay? And that's what happened. Okay? And he wants, and Esau, this is basically Esau attack on our nation. Another attack on our nation. Because Esau doesn't want you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American men in confusion of faces, okay, to be masculine. He, do, he doesn't like seeing you with a beard on your face. Okay, he doesn't like seeing you, uh, 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 you know, basically it's spiritual, man. Okay, he doesn't like seeing none of that. He wants you to be feminine. So when he rolls on you, it will be easy for him to take you out. And once he take you out, he could easily take your family out. Okay, that's how he saw it once, man. That's what he wants, man. Okay, so he uses these, 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 uh, these celebrities, these so-called celebrities or wicked Israelites, okay, to push that whole thing, man. Okay?
This is Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. Okay? They lay wait as he that set up snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and wax and rich, man. Okay? And that's that's a prime example, man. Okay? These, these celebrities, man. Okay? And that's nothing new. If you go... And to the to the apocrypha, I think it is. I know it's the first or second Maccabees. Hold on, let me type this in. Yeah, there it is. This is Mac, the first of Maccabees. Hold on, let me just go back up. It's first in Maccabees. Okay, first in Maccabees, the seventh verse, because this was the time of Alexander the, the Greek, you know, which he was an Edomite, okay? I really call him Alexander the Greek. It says, so Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they put all their crowns upon him, so so did his sons after them. Many years and evils will multiply in the earth, okay, which proves that the Edomites are the wicked. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the 130 and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And those days went, went there out of Israel, wicked men, just like it said in Jeremiah the, uh, the fifth chapter, okay, who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we had much sorrow, okay? And that's the same thing you're seeing today, which you, 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 the whole Hollywood scene, the whole Hollywood scene being your Beyonce, your Jay-Z's, okay, your 21 Savages, okay, your uh, Takashi 6 ix okay? And so on, man. It's the same thing, okay? The same spirits are back on this planet today, okay? Those same people that did that in that time are back today, man. The same wicked Israelites, man, okay? And then that's what they're doing, man, okay? Basically, they sold out, okay? That's why I told you in Ecclesiastes, for, for a while, surely oppression uh, maketh a wise man mad, and the gift destroyed the heart, man. They, they received that gift, and it destroyed their heart, man. Okay, and and um, what they're doing is in order to keep all the riches that they get received on this side, okay, all the riches that they receive on this side, okay, and that that the high lifestyle within Esau's kingdom, they're gonna do this, man. They're gonna sell out. They'll do whatever these 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 elites tell them to do, man, because that's who's controlling them, man. The elites, man. That's who's pushing the agenda through these wicked Israelites. It's the elites, man. Okay, and you know what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, um, let me go back to the Apocrypha. <coughs> Excuse me, my bad. Um, I think it's Ecclesiastes of Sirach, Sirach, the tenth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. It says a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a approved man is well ordered. Okay, 
as the judge of the people is himself, so, of his, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such, such are all they that dwell therein, man, okay? And that's, uh, 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 that's the thing, man. The, a lot of our people, they follow idols, okay? So a lot of our people follow these, these rappers, these, these celebrities in general, okay? And whatever these celebrities uh, push out, the vibration that these celebrities push out, uh, people follow, man. Okay? So, that's that's what you see going on, man. Okay? These these sellout jakes, okay, that's pushing this man's agenda are, are, are part of the, the uh, reason why our nation is destroyed as well, man. Okay? And two-thirds, they follow after him, man. And they will continue to follow after him to the end, man. Okay? So lucky, bear with me real quick. I gotta find it. Yeah, this is it. This is this is good. I'm gonna start uh the 18th verse. This is first John 2 and 18, little children. It is the last time as ye have heard that an that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And basically an Antichrist is basically anybody that's against, okay, these scriptures, man, against Yahweh Shah, man, these, these words, man, this book, man. Okay, if you can't, if you had, you uh, uh got a problem with the words of these books, then you are antichrist, man. That's two thirds of our own nation, man. They hate and despise Yahweh, well Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, they think the antichrist is just just one person. I had my uh uh, uh somebody tell me that <laughs> the antichrist was Donald Trump, <laughs> but um, it's really it's many, just like it said in the scripture right there. They went out from us, but they were not of us. Okay, that's our people. For if they had been of us, they would not doubt, no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of us, all of us. Okay? This is not, I think it was something else I wanted. It was something about, it was an enemy to the cross. Just can't find that scripture, but this this is all right. It says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Okay? That's the men that that's received this, the people, the Israelites that's received this knowledge and this truth. Cause not everybody, okay, not too, not all of our nation had this, man. Okay, all of our nation are completely blinded. Okay, they have a uh, uh, the Lord blinded them basically. That's why they can't receive this, man. Okay, I have not written unto you because ye know the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lies of the truth. Okay, who is a liar but that denieth that Yahweh is. Uh, uh, the Messiah, he is an antichrist that denied the father and son. Okay, whoso denied the son, the same had not father the father, but he that acknowledged the son had the father also, which proves that they're not uh one whole entity. Okay, then the the just like the Trinity says, man. Okay, the two separate entities. Okay, so point being is, okay. 
this man is pushing a, a, a Esau's agenda to, to target masculinity, okay, to destroy our nation furthermore, man, okay? But this is another reason why this has to take place. This is Zechariah 13 and 8, okay? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, who's the two parts? The two parts of the, uh, that that's it's talking about is the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Because the two-thirds of the nation of Israel won't get this. They will never get it, and they will never uh, accept it, man. Okay, and they're going to continue, okay, in this, this, this wicked, okay, demonic society to follow the ways after it. So the Lord is going to destroy them, man, okay? But the third shall be left therein. Okay, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, try them as the gold that is tried is tried. They shall call my name, I will hear them, and I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my power, man. So that's the elect, man. Okay? And the, the one third and the great multitude, man. Okay, that's gonna be redeemed from the destruction that's about to come upon this place, man. Because this place will be destroyed whether you believe it or not, man. Okay. But um this is why two thirds of the nation of Israel is gonna be cut off, man. And these celebrities in Hollywood, they're the higher ups, man. Cause it's different, okay? It's different um uh, uh levels to the two thirds, man. Okay? You just got the uh you got these Hollywood Jakes, basically a high level Jakes, then you got the Jakes within the Esau's government, okay? And then you just got your average Jake on the street, okay? You have your average Jake on the street. Okay, that's all the two-thirds, man. And they all going to die here in America, man. Okay? The scriptures say that you celebrities, woe to you that receive your consolation on this side, man. Okay, all you as are rich and living uh, wealthy, man. Okay? You're going to be destroyed, man. Unless you repent, okay? So that was, that was my lesson. I just wanted to do a response to that, you know. Lord willing, this is Adifine. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shalom, to the whole full of that.